All right, Mason, thank you so much for joining us, talking a little bit about the you know preparations for the 20 MA draft footprint situation this year with everything going on. How are you preparing for things without having the ability to do workouts and face-to-face -face interviews, at least in person right now? I'm just preparing by just standing in the back and just continue to grind, you know, getting better every day on my body, continue just to prepare for it. You know, just prepared for everything new through this pandemic. You know, a lot of new things, not being able to meet up. So I just been sitting in the back doing a lot of interviews and we'll still be blessed to be able to do these. You know, I'll never take these for granted. For those who don't know, shooting guard in Arkansas just wrapped up your second season at the school, 22 points per game, your SEC player of the year and an honorable mention All-American. When you look back at this year, you made quite a jump. What stands out most about the way you played? Well, just me being a three-way scorer. You know, I really made it look easy this year, knowing that I worked out with Jeremiah, knowing that um, I was able to really just mature through a player and having an NBA system coach and the coaching staff really made me and really pushed me to new levels. And just growing through that, it made me see the game different. And I started watching the game. I started watching film over Luca, Mono, James Harden, CP3, just some of the guys that was not the most athletic, but still be able to score all three levels. And I was able to really just take that and really run with it and really show that, okay, through hard work, you can really have a crazy year. And, you know, my coaching staff really pushed me every day and my teammates pushed me every day. So I always give them a lot of credit to my success. Do you feel like that ability to be a three-level scorer and that offensive versatility is something that's going to help you translate the quickest to the NBA level? Oh, yeah, definitely, because um, being a three-way scorer, it really took my game to new levels. And now that I'm able to sit back here and really continue to grind, it's really continued to take me to new levels. Now, now that I'm adding the dunking passion, now that I can really guard one, two, and three, and my body's really unlocking, and it's able, I'm really excited to see that my game is really developing and knowing that I was able to really show glimpses of college, knowing that people would say that's a great year. Just, just in my opinion, it was really just okay year, knowing that I can really do more. I can really continue to get better. Now your path is a little bit of a unique one. You didn't play basketball until your senior year of high school. You did a year of JUCO and then went to Arkansas, kind of a very fast acceleration to where you are now. What have you learned most about yourself during this, this kind of unconventional route to now interviewing for NBA teams? Um, just trust, the, trust your work and continue to work hard through everything. You know, just the journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And, you know, just, I just wanted to continue to trust the work. And I wanted to continue God, continue to trust God. And, you know, me just being a biblical person, I knew it was a process to wherever everything I was doing, all the places that he was taking me. And every time I looked up, I was only getting better and better at each spot. And just the fact that I was able to continue to mature, that was the biggest thing. See my growth. I made a lot of growth over the years. And now to see the fact that I'm here now, I continue to grow. And, you know, just I never take that for granted, you know. And I always try to keep myself in the moment. But I know that it's, it's getting closer and closer. But I know that my time is going to come. And I, want, I just want to continue to be ready and continue to work hard every day. Your older brother is Matt Jones, who was played for Duke, was on the title team a few years ago, and I think believe is now a professional player overseas. How has he helped you kind of prepare for this process? Um, to, to be honest, he really helped me a lot, knowing that he went to Duke University, knowing that he got Coach K. I was able to build a relationship with the coaching staff. I was able to build a relationship with former players that when I went out to Duke, my brother was able to meet. I was able to meet and I was able to really hang around where to the point I was able to ask them questions and really, really mature fast. And when Matt, being able to have Matt, it was just, oh, okay, I can call him every second. I can really learn from it. I can really do good about it. And wrapping up, obviously looking at the Charlotte Hornets team, took a little bit, is taking more of a little bit de developmental route right now, playing a lot of young guys, second year guys, third year guys, a little bit of a tie too to you because I believe Eric Musselman was the Martin Twins head coach at Nevada, who is now the head coach at Arkansas. What do you know about this franchise? How do you see yourself potentially fitting in with them? Oh, I know a lot about the franchise, you know. You know, just going against P.J., just seeing the development they did with Devontae Graham, and then they have Miles Bridges. Not Miles Bridges. Uh, yeah, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so, you know, just having them, you know, is good. And just seeing myself come in as a, I'll be able to play the one, two, and three, knowing that, I can be a big guard at one, knowing I can slide to two and three and guard two and threes. And that's what they're really big on, on me about, knowing I can play one, two, and three 
and knowing how serious of a player I am and knowing that I'm only going to get better. So the more people that continue to interview me, the more my name continue to get around the league that, okay, Mason is serious. Mason might be. Mason is showing that he can be a top 15 pick. And, you know, now the more respect that I'm getting, now I'm starting to interview with everybody, all GMs, everybody. So, you know, it's really raving up and it's really getting big. But, you know, just being with Charlotte, I know I could definitely come in and be a most ready player right now, come in and bring a consistent scoring, but really make my name off the deep end, knowing that, okay, I didn't unlock my body. So now I'm going to take the defense level up, knowing that my offensive game, was already already good enough where people think I'm the best, but I want to take it to another level because I want to be ready and I want to help the Hornets win right away.